Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org, and in this video we're going to expand on the DHCP stuff that we learned in the last video. So this video, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a DHCP server in a different network, in a different subnet, and we're going to assign the addresses to the Larry and Mary computers. And also we're going to assign an address to this uh, routers interface, the fast ethernet 0 slash 1. So we're going to do that. We're going to get started on this DHCP server here. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign two uh, IP DHCP pools. So first one, DHCP pool. We're going to say two LAN. So this one is going to this router here. And the reason I'm making it is so I can assign use DHCP to assign an address to this F01 right there. Okay, and we need to specify the network is 10.10.10.0. Subnet mask. We're going to say default router is 10.10.10.1. Remember, that's going to be this router here. We're going to hit enter. And there's many other commands that you can put in, but we're not going to do that here. And so that is one of the pools is set up. Now, what we need to do is set up for the blue subnet there. So let's do just exit this one. And let's go make a new pool, IP DHCP pool LAN, and the network is 10.0.0.0. Remember, this is the blue network here, so the default gateway for this one is 10.0.0.1, and we want Larry and Mary to have uh, DHCP IP addresses. So the network is 10.0.0.0 with the subnet mask and default router. Now this default router is going to be 10.0.0.1. Remember the default gateway is going to be here. So even if we're going to this DHCP server outside the network, inside we want 10.0.0.1 in this case. All right. And like I said, many other commands you can do, but we're not going to do that. So we're just going to end it. And we are done on that uh, this DHCP server slash router here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move to the next router. We're going to put a couple commands to get the address for this IP address via DHCP and then we're going to configure what's called a helper address to move the uh, those DHCP requests along to this server here. So let's do that now. Alright, so first thing we need to do is we need to go to interface fast ethernet 01 and what I'm going to do here is assign this address via DHCP. So just all it is, very easy, IP address DHCP. That's it. So in a couple seconds we should see some uh, some different uh, console messages going up, coming up there and showing that you did actually get that IP address. See, we are 10.0 or 10.10.10.2 here. And like it says, DHCP uh, address assign. So we are good there. And uh, just to see it again here, fast ethernet 0 slash 1, 10, 10, 10, 2. Okay, so we, that link between those two routers is set up with both of them having addresses. Now what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of that. And now uh, the DHCP server, that router is set up. But right now, there's no way for Larry and Mary to really cross this network. What we need to do is go to the inside interface, fast ethernet 0 slash 0. And we need to create a what's called a helper address. So let's do that now. And the helper address is going to point to the DHCP server. Okay, so Right now, we are on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 right here, okay? We're on the inside, and we want the inside to configure IP helper address, and we want that helper address to point to the DHCP server, okay? So we're going to hit enter there, and that is all you need to do for that. So let's just exit this out, and now let's go to our two virtual PCs down here, and Larry is number one, so let's go to him and we're just going to go IP DHCP and see if we can get an address. 
give it a couple seconds and it should work. It should work. Okay, let's go to two. Let's go IP DHCP. Okay. So DORA on Mary. Her IP address was dynamically assigned, you can see right there. 10.003 slash 24. And the gateway, 10.0.0.1. So let's ping 10.0.0.1. Okay, we're good there. And let's ping all the way to the DHCP server. Ping 10.10.10.1. And we're good there. All right. So let's go to 1. And let's see uh, real quick if we can figure out what the problem is with this. So IP DHCP. DORA. So with this virtual PC simulator, it might just take a little bit more time to do this. I mean... Uh, you know, this isn't really a fully fledged operating system. It is convenient for, uh, you know, ping and trace route and, and basic like network connectivity and stuff. But uh, as you can see there too, uh, the Larry computer number one just received a DHCP address. And let's ping 10.10.10.1 and we're good. And just to round everything out, let's go back to the DHCP server and let's go to. Let's just do a ping. Uh, let's ping that Larry computer because it seemed to have a little take a little bit extra time to get it done. So that's 10002. So ten, ping 10002, and you're good. Okay. And uh, let's go show IP DHCP binding. And you see here we have three different bindings here. Okay. These are the local area network. These are Larry and Mary. And this here, 10, 10, 10, 2, that is the router. So one thing to caution uh, you guys about this, on these routers, they have to have routes to these sub, uh, subnets here. So if you don't have a route to one of these subnets, it's not going to work. So just be aware of that. But uh, once your routes are set up, and, you know, ping is your friend with those things. So once your routes are set up, uh, you know, it's, it's just another series of a couple more commands, and you're good uh, to be using a DHCP server in different subnets. So that's all I wanted to show you today, and uh, I will see you in future videos.